Libra, what it be, bruh? You already know what it is. It is me, bruh. It is she, bruh. It is Viva. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again for February 2021. Baby, we're in here about to have some fun. <clears throat> shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies, period, who have liked, shared, subscribed, and who have clicked this video, okay? We are all ready and we are reloaded, baby. I hope all of you guys have been having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful 2021 thus far. Um, we're gonna get into the energy today. If there's anyone that would like to support the page, um, book a personal private reading, connect with me for any type of uh, reason, um, click the description of this video or click the about tab on my youtube page it gives my pricing list thank you again for everyone that's been sending love through the cash app through the paypal especially all of you guys that send equipment and love through the um amazon wish list thank you guys so much for the support if you guys want to book with me the best way to communicate is um instagram messenger if you do not have instagram uh email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and you know we're gonna make it do what it do baby you know as always we always bow our heads and give the creator father god the universe whatever it is that you want to call him blessings and just you know praise and acknowledgement for everything that um God has done in our life. So just, you know, bow your head with me. We're going to give a few moments of prayer. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Libra. You already know where to be with us, Father God. We are just trying to maintain focus and can and keep ourselves in continuous balance, Father God. You know, we are just paving our way, Father God. We are, you know, high-stepping and walking in high blessings, Father God. Uh, we're just trying to keep ourselves motivated and take everything day by day. We're not trying to rush everything and nor are we trying to know every single thing. You know, we've, we've battled with feeling like we needed to know every single step of the way and every single thing. Um, and, and, and not just allow things to happen naturally. We're, we're not fighting with the unknown right now. We're just enjoying it at this moment. So, who knows what what's bound to happen today or tomorrow. We're just staying blessed and just you know staying in the mode of success and we're just ready to receive whatever it is that god believes is um fit for us so we know you wouldn't put us through anything that we couldn't handle and every single experience that we go through shapes our destiny and our purpose so father god we just know that we're worth it continue to give us the guidance that we need to receive in jesus name amen amen and amen please give us guidance for libra for february 2021 Amen. All right. So let's see what we got here, Libra. Let's see what we got going on. I don't know why I got to push this back. I don't know why. I just seem like everything on my table is just moving forward. <laughs> I don't know. I must be shaking the table and everything just keeps moving forward. All right. Give me one card for Libra. February. One card, please. Libra. Oh, oh. Libra. In the name of Jesus. Child, you got despair. You got despair. Why? Why, oh, why? Why, oh, why? Can I see what's at the bottom of the deck, please? In the name of Jesus. And you got impatience. I knew the answer was going to be at the bottom of the deck. You got despair and impatience. Okay, now. All right. So this says, I need your divine intercession right now. The great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be peaceful. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. Again, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something about you guys feeling like you need to know everything. Like even in this prayer, it's like you're asking God to open you up to the highest plan. Like God is not going to, you don't need to know everything. Don't stress yourself out feeling like you need to know everything. It's like you want to know what's going to happen tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. And it, okay, so they're like, 
y'all may even be paying for readings trying to like unlock secrets or trying to I get it, but it's like still, you know, no matter how much money you pay for readings, you're no one is going to tell you the step by step manual for what it is that you need to do to get to where you need to go. That map, that information is is within you, and I don't care even the most clairvoyant and the most talented of readers. God is not going to give them the information. Period. Stop putting yourself in a place of despair, feeling like you need to know everything because that's the only reason why I feel like you're in despair, feeling like you need to know every damn thing. I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift me from this darkness. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. Hmm. What's going on, Father God? Tell me what's been creating this burden. I feel like I know what's been creating the burden, but please, Father God, tell me so that I can tell Libra what has been creating this burden of despair, please. I have been being impatient about it. Like, when is everything coming? What is this? The night of material. Mm. Okay. Seven of inspiration. That's a lot. Give me one more card, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. The aid of inspiration. Okay. So, it seems like this despair seems to be happening around um, the material advances that you've been trying to make in your life. The Nine of Pentacles is like Whatever it is that you've been trying to build, it just hasn't been reaching its success the way that you want it to. It gets been taking too long. Uh, for some reason, it's like you're feeling like you need to refresh your skills. You need to go back to school to receive some new teaching. Like, learn some new tricks of the trade or maybe like marketing or something. Like, how to market it. So, it's what it is that you're trying to plant. You want it to be as though you don't need to water it every day in order for it to go. You see that succulent plant right there? It's very decorative. But it's a real live thing. So you still need to take care of it. You just don't need to look after it as often as other plants that you may have to. You know, it can deal with uh, dehydration a little bit better. Because succulents, they hold water and it, it, it has over, it has reserves. You know what I'm saying? So, what you need to do is, it seems like, um, you need to stop what you're doing in regards to constantly putting yourself in a place where it really has no interest in growing in your life. Like, stop walking towards that this seven of inspiration it looks like you guys have been frustrated um you guys have been frustrated with why things are and also like your opinion like other people's opinions about why things haven't been successful and be working out in your life like you just wish people would shut the fuck up you see how you trying to push all that darkness away so that the, the sun can shine it's just like if you don't have nothing positive to say shut the fuck up like that <laughs> it's literally like how you're coming it's like i understand that certain things have not grown yet i understand that my business has not taken off yet but you don't understand that 
I am trying to develop something that has long term longevity so it takes time in order for it to build its stamina because once it gets up it's going to be running like god damn bitch you don't understand what i'm trying to do so shut the fuck up if you don't have nothing positive to say don't say shit at all period because it may look like my aspirations, my goals, and everything that I've been trying to go towards. It may seem like with that eight of wands right there, I've been missing my target. That it may seem like I may not know what I'm doing. I haven't perfected my skill or craft. There's not like a lot of... So that's like saying like you're an entrepreneur and you have a product that you're trying to sell. But out of the whole year, you might have made 20 sales. Right? So things just ain't picking up and it's not taking off as much as you want it to. And you got a whole bunch of people criticizing you and trying to tell you how to make things better. But they're just making things worse because they don't even have any businesses. That they, like, do, do, do these people have businesses? So I really don't want to hear what you guys say. Unless you're somebody that already has a product that's already flourishing and that's successful. I really don't want to hear what other people say in their criticisms about why my shit is it taking off but they don't even have shit to begin with so there may be people I, I, I feel like these are other people's standards they're not your own they're not the standards of your own you may be okay with only 25 sales this year because you're just happy that you made 5 sales I'm glad that I have 25 customers and that's on period. So let me learn how to manage and maintain and keep a happy customer with what I have. And it will continue to build. Because people just be expected things to just pop off and everything to just be success, just success to come so fast. I don't want it to come fast. I want it to grow and mature naturally, organically. Y'all, that's just like when I first started my page, y'all. Like, I might have been lucky if I got three views. You understand? So, from somebody that knows what it takes to build something organically, that's just like I've had certain views. I've had certain videos that have 20,000 views. I have some, I put certain readings out. It may only get 50 views. And I've been doing this shit for a while. But I'm not about to kick myself down and make myself feel like, or listen to nobody else's criticism. That's my art. That's my art. They, and half of the people that have opinions and it got shit to say ain't do, can't do half of what you're doing. So that's why you have to push that shit away. Learn how to stay, look, stand up for yourself and push that shit aside so you can see the sun. Don't let nobody bring no darkness on you. Listen, naysayers, bullshit talkers, squawkers, people gossiping, you know, trying to disarm you, trying to make you feel like you're not the best at what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You know that it's going to pay off in the long run. The most smartest businessman knows keep doing what you're doing motherfuckers will catch on sooner or later they will catch on and guess what when they do catch on you got a hell of a fucking catalog for them to get to know you with things not going to take off super duper fast all of the time some people can be overnight success some people are not you know and a lot, I watched this show the other day it was a documentary on HBO about um, influencers and do you know half of them uh, subscribers and people, they're bots? Like, they're paid. Y'all, a lot of people that you think are famous or that have this success, it seems natural, it seems to happen overnight, it's fraud. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather launch something, see it take off. I got... A little bit of success. I got a little bit of traction. Cool. So let me maintain that. Let me go back to the table. And figure out what am I missing. And come back out with my season two. And I'm really going to keep. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all got to keep going. Don't ever let nobody put their expectations on you. As long as you are great. 
and you know that you're great and you're satisfied with your little 25 followers, your little 25 views, your little 25 sales, whatever it is. Your little 25 cents, your little $25,000 that you made, shit. <laughs> I'd be happy. Hell. What is this? You got Hugh Hefner. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's see what y'all got going on in love here. You got, listen, your 25 bitches. Okay, come on now. Listen, you may not be the biggest pimp, but you know, I got at least 25 bitches. <laughs> so let me shut the fuck up. So listen, Hugh Hefner. It says, make every night a one-night stand. Long-term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. So, to me, what this is saying is like, your whole life is not going to be like a one-time affair. Your whole life is not going to be a one-time affair. Like, you ever known people to fall in love one time and they feel like this is just the one person that they're going to spend the rest of their life with and this is it and no your life is not going to be a one-time affair you're probably going to have multiple loves you're probably going to have multiple heartbreaks enjoy them all and learn and gain resources from them all because at the end of the day when you walk away from a love situation, if you learn something that made you better, that was a resource. It don't make you no difference. It don't make you no good. It don't make you no better. It will make you wiser. As long as you utilize, utilize the experience, you know? So like it says, long-term relationships are great. Have as many as you can. Make every night a one-night stand. Hmm. Let's see what's going on. Play a player from the Himalayas. Let's see what is going on, child. And I did see that impatience under there. So, hmm. Make every night a one-time stand. Surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. Let's see what we got here. We got the seduction in the reverse, and then we got the mask. All right. So, hmm. looks like you could be hiding something here, you guys. You know, whenever I see that mask, it's like you are hiding something. You are hiding something. You are hiding something. Someone is trying to keep a straight face. Ooh, it's ugh. it says someone is trying to keep a straight face by being slept on. I don't know if like you guys are just it's like are you blocking some seductive attempt someone is trying to make towards you? It's like you're trying to keep a straight face like you're not interested in it, but really you are. I it's like you're trying to keep a level of professionalism there. But it's like, mm, I don't know with this Hugh Hefner character. To me, the Hugh Hefner, this is an older man trying to talk to a younger woman. I don't know if this is like a work relationship or some type of relationship that you would kind of deem inappropriate here. Because this seduction here, especially like this looks like in a workplace environment or it looks like someone evidence that this person is, it's an age difference uh maturity difference uh like a wealth difference or some type of difference here where it's like you're trying to keep a straight face and not try to let on to this person that whatever that they've been trying to do is working it's like someone's been trying to wear you down trying to get you to open up and become a part of their team or something I don't know if this person like legitimately is a player Ooh, has like some type of player lifestyle what is this the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase give me one more healing the inner child growth 
let's see what this one says right here. It just popped out. Love in the reverse. So, yeah, it's like you're not being overwhelmed by this person's art and form of seduction. It's like you're definitely saving face. You're not about to run around like all of these other silly bitches and be like oh my god he has to talk to me you want me to be a part of this little brothel or whatever like no motherfucker i am not one of your hoes i'm surely not but it's like at the same time i don't know it's like who is this person it's like an older gentleman or something it's like they're very popular very mature and i want to say i don't know why i'm kind of getting like the nick cannon experience you know like how nick cannon kind of gives you Cause you know how Nick Cannon, you know he doesn't believe in that he wants to get married, but he definitely takes care of his women, and you know that he has more than one woman. He's been very vocal about it, and he just speaks and lives in his truth. But at the same time, it's like there are many women that probably would not, it, it, even though it seems like it's not the most moral based situation do you know what i'm saying because it's like where's your morals so you're just one of this guy's mini bitches or whatever but it's like he treats you well like you get the amazing sex he's extremely wealthy like my me's are getting that you know it's just like as much as this seems something that would be off-putting it's like kind of not sounding that bad even though and it's like you're trying to like mask like nah i would never do that. i would never you know what i'm saying because with this butterfly here it's like you you have matured and all of that stuff and you you know what i'm saying and you know that this is in a situation that involves love you know what i'm saying and i don't even and I don't know if you want love right now. I don't know. It's something about this situation that to you, I swear to God, it's like, it doesn't seem that bad. And it's like, you really trying to keep a straight face. Because it's like, I don't really think that you're looking for love anyway. It's like you've evolved past that point. I feel like whatever form of healing that you've been doing, it's kind of made you feel more free with yourself. Where it's just like... If it's love, if it's love, if it's not, if it's not, I'm not going to get myself too involved with shit that I really shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will start loving people when I see that they're in love with me. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't put myself out there like that. You know? Um, I, it's like, I'm not that weak to someone's seduction. Like, if I do something, I do it because I want to do it. And because I'm going to have fun. And it, de it de that's not because, oh, you're so... Uh, alluring and attractive and I just couldn't you know turn away your advances no I did it because I wanted some dick or I wanted to, <laughs> you know like the offer was too good to be true shit why not you know what I'm saying you're handsome you're wealthy you know shit I ain't looking for no love for you why not be shit why not <laughs> shit shit he have Nick Cannon want me to be part of the team right the way my life is right now I'm not looking for love so shit why not <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's like still keeping that poker face though. It's like if I let this person know that their way of seducting. Ooh, five of chalices. Mmm. Five of chalices. And those are all of the cups spilled over. Damn. And then you got the five of swords. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, and in the strength in the reverse. I don't know why her loser takes all, but I'm pretty sure it's winner takes all or something like that. Mm-mm. 
this ain't good right here give me give me a little bit more because this is like a lose lose situation someone end up devastated um because it's like someone ended up manipulating them in in their moment of weakness it's like this is what this person is trying to Ooh. The wheel of fortune in the reverse, bruh. Damn. This ain't good, man. This ain't good. So, listen. Y'all got the five of cups and the five of swords right here. So, like, this is someone, like, completely... Like, disarming you and beating you at their game. You know what I'm saying? Like, they knew that they were going to beat you. Like, they, it was like you were easy prey or some shit. It's like... You... Like, this person kind of deemed you as weak. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this is, it's like they deemed you as weak. And they, see, they knew what they... They knew what to say. They knew what to do to, to manipulate you, to pull your panties down, to get you to give in, to, you know, fall into lust, into temptation, into your desires and all of this stuff. Like, they try to sell you dreams of the experiences that they thought. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, it's an unlucky occasion. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person tried to swindle you and finesse you and try to... Make your fate seem like it was going to turn out this way, but it completely turned out another way. So it's like, the way this is looking to me is, this is someone who wanted you to be one of many. And in some type of way, I want to say, with their, their, it's like this seductive art that they had. It's like they were waiting for you to like... To like wear you down so that you could like fall into their manipulation or something like that. And I want to say you weren't letting them. It was like you were not falling into the seduction because you knew that it wasn't love. Was not it's not it's not any love in this situation at all. Like this person is trying to convince you into having as many one night stands as you want. You know, long-term relationships are great. Make sure that you have as many as you can. You know, <laughs> surround yourself with young partners to stay fit. So it's like this whole lifestyle, this whole thing that is being like sold to you as as if it's something great. It's something that you should be lucky to be a part of or something like that. It's great. You know what I'm saying? Like, who wouldn't want to? Who wouldn't want to be in your shoes? Do you think I, I I offer this opportunity to anyone? It's like something like that. It's like a playboy. A manipulator. This person is most definitely has a mask on them. It's like this person kind of wants to get you to transform and be their special little social butterfly in the way that they want you to be. But at the same time, you have, I want to say, I, I, like they masked their intentions and you masked the way that you really feel. Because you have transformed a lot. Like you really have. I, I don't feel, I honestly, I'm going to put it to you like this. I don't know what you're going to do. I can tell you what the cards is telling me. I know if you do fall into this situation. Because, again, remember, I kept saying this is just you keeping your mask on, trying not to be seduced by this person. Because you have grown. You've grown with this butterfly. You've grown. But it's like the more and more this person is laying it on thick. It's like this art of seduction. This person got it mastered. Mastered. And as much as you try to keep this straight face, this motherfucker knows that they're weakening you. That this person really looks at you as weak. 
you ain't been having no luck and love or whatever so this is like the perfect opportunity to you and they know exactly what you know what i'm saying they know what to do to kind of break you down libra like this person really does look at you as weak like you will not be able to stand up to their advances and i really do feel like if you give into it like your poker face is not that strong. They definitely see some level of high interest there with you. If you get into this, what's going to happen is exactly what you think is going to happen. This person is going to beat you at their game. This person knows exactly what they're doing. They're like they have all of these other women in control. Like that they want. Listen, your fate is not going to be any different than theirs if you engage with this person and I want to say that you've been being strong continue to be strong continue to be strong um hmm. I want you to stand up for yourself especially if you feel like things have been going good in your life Libra and then all of a sudden this playboy or playgirl or something like that comes around and they're like trying to seduce you and make you believe in something that is going to, things are going to work out in the, in the long run. In that love situation, it's not. There's going to be some level of failure. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's definitely going to be some failure. So, and again, it's like, whereas though you may feel like things were taken off in the beginning, it may come to a smooth stop. Like, it may build up its momentum and fizzle out very quickly. It's like no show of progress in regards to what it is that you were trying to create or build with some person. And it will leave you into some despair. And it will get you in this place where you're, you're relinquishing your peace because you're trying to figure out what what everything is going on why everything isn't working what this person is doing and you know all of these regrets and worries and things like that and it's like this person is just skipping along knowing that they have control over your mind that you're weak they have no it's like they have no sympathy and you have no control and things are just not it's like you would have to regain your footing um i don't know why i want to go grab my kipper cards real quick i do want to grab my kipper cards because give me guidance here with this despair situation um give me guidance in general for all this general guidance because there's something here in the general energy where it's like it's like a worry about something that just hasn't taken off yet. And other people's criticism about how far you got in regards to your success on a project or something that you've been working on. What is this? Community. So, again, you have to market to the community. I really do feel like it's marketing. You need to, whatever this is that you're trying to do, if you got 25 people... How many is it saying? 39. If you got 25 people that's been watching you, that's been supporting you, it's going to turn into 39 and it's going to grow and it's going to grow and it's going to grow. You got to make sure that you're marketing. The community needs to be aware of what you're doing. And I really do feel like the reason why things have not been taken off the way that it does is because you need to focus on your marketing skills. You need to focus on your marketing skills. Everybody needs to know what you're doing. You need to give out samples. You know, do things like that. Like once you start doing sample products and things like that, it's like you have to and you have to like invest in yourself in order to build wealth. You got to give a lot of things out for free in the beginning. Not keep doing it. But just to get your name out there. So, again, invest in yourself. Be charitable to the community. Whatever it is, if you're breaking bread, if it's like your famous banana bread, go to... 
the local football games, whatever it is, it just give out free samples and have prepackaged um, um, little bags or whatever where people could buy it. You know what I'm saying? After you give out the samples, people you're going to sell out is marketing. That's what you got to do. Marketing. Don't worry about what nobody got to say about your shit. Because guess what? If you got 25 goddamn customers, you could get motherfucker 45. Then you could get 4,500. Then you could get 40 million. Do you understand? So it's all about marketing. It's all about getting yourself out there. Okay? So again, and it's like marketed to everybody, to children, adults, and the elderly. Marketed to everybody. Okay? So remember when I was saying something about investing in yourself in something that you don't have to water every goddamn day. It's taking care of itself. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it thrives on its own. Give me guidance over here with Libra with this love situation, please. Because it do feel like they about to fall into someone's trap. And I definitely do see the warning here if you do take this advance here. Give me guidance for Libra and love, please, February. Clarify this Hugh Hefner. The family room. Great fortune. Expectations. Clarify. Great fortune. Family room in reverse. Expectations. Toil and labor. Hmm. One more. Thank you. Journey. Okay. So, what I'm getting here is the family room in the reverse. So, this is not going to be a situation. And again, you see how the Wheel of Fortune was in the reverse. So, like, it, this, whoever this person is that you're dealing with is indeed a playboy. I feel like you know that. Like, this person is outright telling you their lifestyle. You understand? So, if you invite this person into your life, please don't have no family expectations for this person. I want to say, please don't even think that you're about to receive any type of great fortune or benefit out of this situation. You're just going to be sitting there expecting. And that's why this five of chalices is there. Because I feel like the way that this person kicked this shit to you in your belief system, the way that they made you feel about it, was like, if you get involved with them... Yeah, I got all these other women. I'm a playboy, but I take care of my women. Like, you may not have to work. Because remember, Nick Cannon was saying that his women don't have to work. Blah, say blah, whoop de boo So it was like, you could have got caught up with this person and be like, oh, well, shit, I'm fucking with Hugh Hefner. I'm fucking with Nick Cannon. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep bringing up Nick Cannon, but I'm just using him as an example because that was what he was talking about. And you may think like, shit, I'm, I'm about to be one of, you know, their bitches, so I ain't got to work. I'm just got to sit back and just be available for, you know, whenever they want to slide through, glide through, whatever. I'm just, look, I'm, I'm, I'm a pay pants pamper princess type of thing like that whatever the hell you thought it was going to be it's just straight swindling it's game like it's like game you already knew it wasn't based on any love and you knew that this person was trying to seduce you you know it's like you've transformed past this type of thing to even want to be a part of this situation you know so you're keeping your poker face most definitely, but this person can see inside that they're breaking you down. And what you need to know is if you consider to get yourself involved in this situation, as tempting as it may sound, this person is not going to start a family with you. Nor are you going to, you're not going to be able to live this lifestyle that you think that you're about to li live. You're just going to be sitting out the window waiting for this person. Period. So, like, don't do that for yourself. Like, it's a lose-lose situation. That's why the Five of Chalices and the Five of Swords was right here. It's lies. It's manipulation. It's bullshit. You are not, listen, you are not going to win. It's all pimping and manipulation. Do you understand this person either looks at you as stupid or weak? Do you understand and it's going to be like an ill-fated situation if you're not strong enough to avoid people like this. Like, don't listen to anything that this person has to say. You see this toil and labor in the reverse? Avoid this situation like it's the fucking plague. 
Continue on your journey and don't even be bothered with this, Libra. You're going to end up putting it. It's going to be so much work for you to climb your way up out of this situation. And you're going you to end up in more drama than what it's worth. Do you understand? So it's like this whole time you thought that you were going to be able to just sit back and be. It's like. I, I don't know. It's like if you would have thought in your brain that, okay, well, only thing I got to do is sit in the house and wait for this motherfucker to call me so I can rub his feet and just be his princess for the night. And I ain't got to pay my bills. I ain't got to do nothing. Number one, that's if he calls you. Because remember, this motherfucker got all these other women. That's if he calls you. So he'll help you pay your bills and stuff if he calls you. So you may be sitting back wondering, well, shit, well, when the fuck is he going to call me? When is it going to be my turn? This, this, and that. So it may have put, it, it, it was too much stress and worry and regret around sitting back waiting to see if a motherfucker is going to call you. And all that time while you was waiting doing that, you were missing true opportunities to fill up that family room. You were missing two opportunities for you to go out there and make money and do things beneficial for you. No. Mm -mm. But this person made it seem like, oh no, I'm going to pay all your bills. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. If. If. They decide to make you one of their girls for that season. Child, if you don't continue on your journey, continue on your journey. I don't get yourself wrapped up with no player. I don't give a damn if it look good, it sounds good, shit. It may even feel good. It ain't gonna feel good in the it ain't gonna feel good in the long run. Trust me. It's easy to get in, but it's hard as shit to get out. Don't waste your time. So Libra, I love you. I'm up out of here. Peace.